So today, as plan B, was I was going to go up to the lakes and wild camp, but there was forecast for thunder in the evening and heavy rain. So we went to plan B, which is up at Sebbe, and we're going to go up uh, Borfell, which is uh, just up the lane, and uh, should be good. Uh, Winder, Crook, up, up to Higher Winder and the Howgills. I'm up this uh, really beautiful country lane with blue bells and everything, up to Hebblethwaite Hall, and we'll see how far we get. This is, hello, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> so that's looking down into Zimbabwe over there. And uh, that's all in the Hagen Fields. The other side over there. A kiln there and uh, over there great coombe uh, towards Dentdale. And I've come to probably the last gate and I'm going up this ravine and slowly working our way up Warfell. Beautiful up here, not a soul anywhere to be seen. It's getting a bit windy up here, so it might have been a good, uh, good plan to this. Up uh, towards Waterfowl in Sepper. And uh, what a little um, gem this is. Here we are folks, and pretty much on the summit of Boerfell, Boerfell B-A-U-G-H near Sebba, and uh, just behind me you can see Boerfell Tarn, and uh, there'll be some pretty good pictures up here to be honest, uh, and uh, you can see in the other direction, easily see uh, the Eden Valley and uh, Hargill Fells, fantastic. Yeah, no, no shortage of water up here. Good fresh tarn, full of fresh water. And uh, you can see, I'm not sure which valley that is. Over in uh, Yorkshire, in Yorkshire anyway. And uh, this is, well that lot behind me was an absolute drag because there is no path but, uh, really hard going because it's all like this bog not so much bog 
grass, really soft, tufty grass, hard to hard going, no path at all. And we're looking down uh, to go down this ridge here and towards the wooded area, which is Hebblethwaite Hall down there. And uh, look at the Howgills there, Courtly Crag. Magnificent. What bird is singing? Back down to the stream where I got my water from before. Anyway, good going. I'm pretty tired, it's hard going. But it's been alright. Job that really hard work. I'd rather go 10 miles on a 15 kilo pack and do that with no heavy pack. But anyway, still keeps you fit, gets you fit. the uh, valley in which Sedba sits and uh, the confluence of the Rothy and the Loon and what a beautiful beautiful place that is oh, uh, just coming down uh, the lane at just been through Hebblethwaite Hall and uh, pretty good day out, hard, hard going because it's all boggy but uh, not so, I haven't seen a soul all day apart from one of the farmers just in the farmyard there. So uh, good job so anyway this was my plan B. It was, I was due to camp out in the Lake District, but the forecast was for uh, possible thunder and, and heavy rain in the evening. I don't mind the rain, but the thunder I don't want to do with uh, metal poles and a, a tent. So anyway, really good day out near Sebba, and uh, hope you join me on the next one. Thanks for watching.